Ladies and gents, Rockstar doesn't really seem to be giving too much of a shit about the 5th anniversary of GTA Online and instead has uh, released a trailer yesterday for Red Dead Redemption 2 and today in the Newswire post they just kind of just do a regular week with uh, the release of Sumo. Well I kind of understand from a perspective of marketing and trying to promote their new game I do find it a bit of a shame that they haven't done so and yes as I'm rambling on you're seeing brand new screenshots from Red Dead Redemption 2 as well because I am indeed a hypocrite and I'm very much looking forward to the game as well. However I do find it a bit of a shame that Rockstar has uh, not really even mentioned the 5th anniversary of GTA Online but again I do understand I'm just a little bit disappointed that they didn't even like do even like a tiny thing or whatever for the fifth anniversary of a game that it has made them a shit ton of money but not only that it's you know it's it's a game that is still very much loved and still very much played until this day but of course there's also some good news because you can uh, check out my video that i made about the fifth anniversary of gta online i made a little bit of a machinima rockstar editor kind of video uh, which uh, celebrates five years of gta online so uh, if you're interested in that make sure to check it out you know because you know someone is gonna have to celebrate the fifth anniversary <laughs> sure and rockstar gonna do it <laughs> okay moving on Enough of that, let's just uh, move on to the event we got for this week, which is, of course, like I mentioned before, Sumo Remix is now available in GTA Online, and as always, there is Double Cash and RP in that as well. Now, if you're familiar with Sumo, then Sumo Remix should be no surprise to you as well. However, it seems to be leaning a bit more to the free roam variants of Sumo, uh, so it's definitely uh, a, an improvement, in my opinion, over the original Sumo, because in the original Sumo, all you did was basically try to push each other off its platform. However, it seems to be taking that free mode event and have with the circle where you have to be in and then kind of you know taking it into a more interesting spin because if you finish with a circle you have to go to the next one on a different side of the platform and also while that's happening the platform is changing as well making it a bit more interesting and obviously a little bit more dangerous for those who are not really paying attention to how the map has changed so i have to give roxas some props for this game out it's definitely uh, an interesting uh, thing to play so I'll definitely go out there give it a play and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Alongside that, there's extended bonuses on the uh, terabyte client jobs. The business battles uh, also continue to pay out double cash and RP. Especially those client jobs are no joke. We're making some very good money. 61k is something that I've seen regularly pop up. And again, the method shown on screen, uh, like I've explained last week, is definitely a way to go. Once again, thanks to Viboxing for that method. It's been making a lot of money for many people. People. Also unlocking for you this week if you play GTA Online is a white ammunition t-shirt and also a yellow Warstock shirt as well. So if you want to look extra fancy this week, that is an opportunity to do so. Discounts this week is 40% off the Satoro, the Penetrator, the Ram Buggy, the Phantom Wedge, the Half Track, and also 30% of the Infernus Classic, Stromberg, Entity XXR, the Raiden, Flash GT, Kara Kara, Sherbanog, and also the MOC, and 25% of the Menacer as well. 40% of the Molotov, the Bambushka, the Hunter, and 30% of the Truster and the Adventure as well. If you're looking for some new businesses as well, you can get 25% of nightclubs, 40% of hangers and the hangar workshop, also bunkers, and 50% of offices, biker club houses, and 30% of the office garage. Now, if that isn't enough for you, there's 30% of Smuggler's Run and Doomsday House clothing, and also 30% of import and export and bikers tattoos. Premium race for this week is Plummet 2 Lock to Supers, and the time trial for this week is Fort St. Kudo. And as always, a quick and easy 50k if you manage to beat the time trial. Before my personal advice on what exactly you should get this week for the businesses, then uh, my personal advice uh, would be to uh, get the Shotoro. It's a very nice bike with very high acceleration. Another good car to get would be the Flash GT. Uh, it's definitely one of the better off-road cars, if not the best one. Uh, so if you're someone that likes to play a lot of off-road races, then that is definitely one uh, to go for as well. Business is obviously something that you kind of have to look into of what you already own and what you uh, think you should own. Uh, it, I mean, a nightclub is very nice, especially this week, because there is a lot of uh, you know stuff going on that is surrounding the nightclub as well. So if you still play the game a lot, a nightclub is definitely something to invest into alongside of a terabyte, so you can uh, go ahead and make a lot of money as well. And obviously, having a bunker running in the background is never a bit bad thing too. When it comes to the businesses, actually, it's kind of like, you know, what exactly 
they do and not already own already. Uh, I mean, these businesses, you know, if we're honest about it, they're they're on sale pretty much every single week at this point. So you really don't have to be in a hurry when it comes to like you know buying one of these things. Uh, they're they've been on sale pretty much every single week for the last few weeks. So don't stress too much if you're gonna miss out on uh, any of these uh, sales when it comes to businesses because they are quite frequent these days as well. But anyway, that was it for this event week, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you also very much for watching. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 news, uh, you know, make sure that you stick to the channel for that one. Um, IGN, GameSpot, and Game Informer have released some additional information uh, about the first five hours of Red Dead Redemption 2. Personally, I'm staying away from that because I don't really want to have the game spoiled for me. Five hours is quite a long time to have, like, you know, gameplay spoiled as four. I just want to go into the game completely fresh. I don't want to know how the game is going to start, like what exactly you're going to do, where you're going. It's going to ruin the surprise for me personally. But if you do want to check that out, uh, you know, head over to IGN, GameSpot or Game Informer if you're looking for that sort of information. With that said and done, thank you so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more and I'll see you all later.